Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is the 29th of Ramadan, 13, 14, 37, uh, July 4th, 2016. It's uh, 8 o'clock a.m. here, Anaheim, California. How is that? And I am inside Al Ansar Masjid, which is, I think this was built or uh, founded on the same time, around the same time that Masjid Omar Farooq, uh, which is Islamic Institute of Orange County, IIOC, was founded. Because I have uh, friends, you know, my brothers, we were, uh, they were going here. I never came to that location uh, back then. But uh, anyway, it is, it is very nice building very nice inside and very comfortable and I walked in yesterday here. I came here many times before but I had the cafe. I spent the night actually here. Did the qiyam and the iftar and the taraweeh and everything. Alhamdulillah. Uh, hopefully it was Laylat al-Qadr because this was the last. Yeah. I think it was the 29th. I think the day is the 30th. Oh no. 29 today, the night. Anyway, I'm just confused. Um, they were, uh, it was a fundraising. Uh, M N S, is it? Or M A S, Muslim in America. M N S, M no, M. Muslim of North America. How's that? Muslims of North of North America. Of fundraising. Uh, the destruction of our Khalifa was done by the British. However, from now on, or even back then, they needed people within what they called themselves the presidents and the tribes and the leader and you know the munafiqeen that their hate and corruption fasuq is so strong that they are they doing a lot worse than the enemy that we recognize that they are enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the whole idea was to mess with our aqidah in the hearts and minds of our youth especially from let's say it, 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 it in, intensified and it was obvious during the 50s and the 60s when it was us ourselves destructing our deen and destroying our deen and declaring war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger by being ignorant about our deen jahiliya jahiliya it is now a lot worse than before but la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah we don't have the choice if anyone think that we are making a difference and we're going to change the course of la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah qada'ullah then anna qada' and qadr the decrees of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we got we got to check our own aqidah and our own beliefs It 
it is alarming when you talk though to some people supposedly to be educated and young and their ideas about our deen what I'm bringing to the attention is not a personal experience and I'm just angry and no it is not May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts and unite us so we can raise the banners of our deen. Why? Because it is the answers and the only life to live for everyone so we can end the suffering. Well, we're not going to end the suffering, but at least make a difference for people that they we have to fulfill our obligation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we were created just as any other nation we are ummah Muhammad kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat al-nas ta'muruna bil-ma'ruf wa ta'anharna an al-munkar wa ta'mununa billah it is not a choice for us. It is not a choice for anyone, any human being that think that they have a choice. And again, we have to understand our aqidah is not to be declared that you are a Muslim or declare a shahada, but to live according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala laws. And decree an aqidah. This is what we are. This is it is the only way. In a personal manner or matters, I am again very disappointed. discussed with our government local state and federal allowing themselves to continue to commit the crimes against everyone and everything plotting kidnapping killing raping drugging just to be to put them in the system and keeping them in the status quo I am also disgusted and very disappointed with all the religious institutes and organizations mosques church synagogue temples all the community centers and the .org. Why? Because they should be, even the, ch the Catholic Church, the Pope, because they should be the one to bring it to the attention of the leadership when injustice has been done and when crimes are committed against humanity just by being careful following the shaitan instead of following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deen and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it is I am very I'm very sad and deeply disturbed about what happened to my wife and my son. I'm also 
very sad and disturbed about my own children and how they reacted to that <clears throat> and how they've been reacting in the last namely 10 years almost or actually since they were born for the last 30 years it is not because I'm I wanted them to worry about me and find out what I just wanted them to earn this blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by following the deen again not to be a Muslim but keep your love to your parents the respect your environment your friends your surrounding be the best student student you could be the best brother or sister that you can the best daughter or son that you can the best neighbor that you can and forget about everyone else because you are going to be responsible for all of these and you're going to be asked and brought and stood and would be judge it is not some that I am inventing <laughs> it is not some that I'm making threads so you can uh, you know so I can control you or get the money in your name or whatever it is Allah deen it's the deen of Allah it's a religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why we all been created to follow and obey and do good and love one another and inhabit the earth and enjoy the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here so we can earn the hereafter just to live according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deen don't listen to no one that tells you to sell your Akhirah, your hereafter, your paradise, your Jannah for their dunya, for their life here. It doesn't matter who they are. I'm not saying be mean or disobedience or uh, rude to your parents or uh, no. However, when their when their commands or if they order you to be to do something, it's gonna conflict with your relationship with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with Deen Allah. Then you don't obey them, but you don't declare war against them. You always keep their good company and being kind and do your part as a child or as a son or a daughter or a brother or a sister it doesn't matter what it is what, who you are in this equation you got to do what is right and what it's kind and what is your heart to dictate to you because this is how we've been created be kind to everyone and everything just to disobey them when they tell you to do kufr and take your yourself and your life to you know, lose your dunya and your hereafter. Okay. This is my advice to everyone. I don't want you to declare some that you don't really understand or believe some that you don't really understand, but at least to do the right thing and be kind, be truthful, be trust trustworthy, be the best performer in anything that you do or text the text that you undertake be kind to the environment to the animals and birds and trees and everything be conservative be conservative conserve energy conserve water conserve, you know don't waste food help whoever you can spend your money or your time or your effort or your energy 
to help someone in need. Do that first for your relatives, and then your surrounding neighbors, friends, associates, and people, miskin, people are in the streets, homeless, and jobless, and people that they don't have anything, and they wanted someone just to look at them and confirm and, and, and show them that they care. All of this is free, and you get a, a huge reward for it. It will be multiplied here in this life and in the hereafter. This is for everyone, for everyone. And now, if the whole nation gathers to benefit you with some that you wouldn't got, they won't, they won't help you with anything except what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed to you. And if they all gather, to harm you with anything, they wouldn't harm you with anything except what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed upon you. The pens are raised and the ink is dry. That's it. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us victory, grant us victory, and uh, mercy upon all of us but the humanity barakallahu feekum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh this incident here i am not really disturbed about it and i'm not gonna make any i just made a video but it's not a young man fault he's not just like everyone else not getting the right informations and and that's why i um you know but anyway that wasn't something that i am really concerned about. I'm gonna go on maybe walk a few miles and take the bus to uh, Mezgit and Noor, and Noor uh, Foundation in uh, Westminster uh, to meet with my uh, my brother Sheikh Ibrahim. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiply people Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Again, a last note for the FBI. I would really appreciate it if you leave me and my family alone and uh, make arrangements so I can talk to my kids, my babies, and know be a parent, be a father. Right? For the Department of Justice, I would like to bring it to their attention to look into all of the allegations and all of the issues that are brought to their attentions since 2007. I think that's the least you can do. That's it. Thank you for everyone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.